been saying who's Santa? Hey, TJ. It's Mr. Long, and I'm Santa today. Hey, remember, one dollar at First Fridays, and you can take a picture with Santa. All right? Bring your holiday spirit, and hey, the whole social studies team is dressed up as elves, so get them involved too, all right? Hey, have a great First Friday, everybody. Ho, ho, ho! Hey, hey TJ. TJ, it's Obdi. And uh, Tyler. It's, it's Friday, Tyler, which means it's our last day, day as your manager. manager. But also, it's First Friday. We'll have a different schedule from usual. Make sure you pay attention to the end of lunch and the beginning of six period. Now, let's end it off to sports. Good morning, TJ. Happy Friday. We're here for the last time this week, so here are the sports. Yesterday, our boys basketball team played against Longmont. And they pulled through and won the game with a score of 64 to 49. Today, they'll play against Air Academy and it will be at Green Mountain High School. The time, is, the time is undetermined as of now, but if you find time, you should stop by and cheer them on. On to wrestling. The boys JV team will have duels today at 5.30. And this will happen at Cherry Creek versus Cherry Creek. In World Cup news, yesterday Spain and Costa Rica both lost their matches. And the teams leaving the group stage are Japan and Spain, even if they lost. Later today at 12, Serbia will be playing against Switzerland and Cameroon will be playing against Brazil. Brazil is currently at the top of their group and it is assumed that they will also be able to leave the group stage. After the matches today, the 16 round will kick off and it will be exciting to see how the bracket plays out. That's all for today, TJ. See you next week and have a good weekend. What's up, TJ? It's Owen and Sloan and Will from Boys Varsity Basketball. We had a big win yesterday against number eight ranked Longmont. We won 49 to 64. We have another big game against number six Air Academy today at 6:30. Uh, it's at Green Mountain High School. It's really far away, so if you can't make it tonight, just wish us luck in the halls. Hello, Thomas Jefferson High School. Um, this is Austin with Wrestling. We have a JV meet today at Cherry Creek High School from 3.30 to like 8. And then tomorrow at Golden High School from like 7 a.m. to 4. Um, if you don't want to show up, support us in the hallways. Um, that would be pretty cool if you do that. Just confirming what we were anticipating, uh, JV and varsity basketball players, we again have a bus at 2 o'clock for our games today, but the school day goes till 156, so stay in class. When the school day is over, we don't get to participate in First Friday, we'll get on the bus and go represent TJ in our tournament. Thanks. Hey TJ, last weekend we won first place at our winter bus competition in Greeley. And then on top of that, we also got grand champions, meaning we had the highest scoring routine out of anyone in the entire competition. Uh, be sure to wish us good luck at State next Thursday and make sure you congratulate the girls in the hallway. Another reminder that TJR show will be next week. Make sure you have plans to attend that. We also have a winter choir concert. Make sure you bring your ugliest sweater to win a prize. Let's send it off to news. Hey guys, we're back. It's your news anchors for the last time this week. In local news, a tour bus hit at least 32 parked vehicles along three blocks of Pleasant Street in Boulder on Wednesday night. Boulder police identified the driver as Fred Hornberg. Hornberg told police he did not know he hit any cars. Hornberg faces charges of careless driving and multiple counts of hit and run. Luckily, all the cars that got sideswiped were unoccupied and there were no injuries. In other news, a 72-year-old woman has been arrested after she allegedly switched off a hospital roommate's ventilator twice because she was annoyed by the sound it made. The woman was jailed on suspicious of attempt manslaughter following the incident at a hospital in the southwest city of Manham on Tuesday evening. The older patient had to be revived and while her life is not in danger, still requires intensive care, authorities said. Whoa, isn't that shocking? In national news, the World Cup is still su such a huge event. Today, South Korea and Portugal burst each other, Ghana and Uruguay play each other, Serbia and Switzerland play each other, and Cameroon and Brill, Brazil also play each other. Make sure to not watch the World Cup in, the cl in class or they'll get caught. That's all from us today, TJ. Wait, Sadie. What now, F2? What do elves learn in school? What? The alphabet. Ugh. Anyway, happy first Friday. Peace. Let's end it off to admin. Good morning, Spartans. Happy first Friday. A lot of action today. Congratulations to DECA. Yesterday, we had some great competitors and uh, going to state. So that's awesome. Listen, you have one week left. One week, meet with your teachers. Get some understanding, ask questions, let them know what you need. Get it done, finals are coming up. Have a great day. 
Hey guys, it's Mr. Pool here. Uh, some important reminders for you. Today we have first Friday. We'll be back for sixth period. It starts at 11.30. Final schedule is gonna be a bit different this year. Monday is gonna be a normal day. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday are going to be your finals days. Friday is a makeup day. Have a great day, TJ. <laughs> Hey, TJ. Thanks Thank for having us as your main anchors. We'll, we'll see you in the halls. Hey, TJ. It's Delina. And Iftu. From Interact Club. We're selling cotton candy after school uh, for first Friday, so make sure to come and get some. Yay. Hey, Spartans. This is Mr. Moss, your theater teacher, and I just wanted to make a quick announcement. We have officially picked the spring play, the play that we're going to do next semester. So when we come back from spring break, we're going to have auditions for Twelfth Night. Twelfth Night by William Shakespeare. It's a fun play with a lot of uh, gender bending. There's a character who's a woman but dresses up as a man and then this other girl falls in love with her thinking she's a man and then it's a whole mess and love triangles and shenanigans ensue. So I'm really excited to see what we can do with it. So come on out next semester when we have auditions for Twelfth Night by William Shakespeare. Hi there. Uh, my voice is a little hoarse from, from yesterday's basketball game so I've called in some assistance today for our episode. We got a special one for you here, but students, we're always on you. Put your phones away, make sure you're paying attention. I want you to turn around and tell those teachers if their phone is, if their face is down, they're looking at their phone, get them to pay attention right now. We have a little historical information. We've been coaching for a long time. Long ago, right, when we had our choice and our way, let's say we had a team playing in some event or some tournament, we could say, hey, here's when we want to schedule our bus. And we would get that, and we would do everything we could to avoid any school day distractions. Now we barely get a bus. And if we do, they tell us when we leave. We don't have any choice. And we know that students are getting pulled out of class. That's not ideal. Um, so please show us a little bit of grace. The bigger problem is going to come next year. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, that schedule. So... The Healthy Start Times has a bunch of science behind it, and uh, I know kids are going to like sleeping in. There are some teachers who are like, we'll take the later start day. But now you're punishing kids who get involved in after-school activities. You want to be part of your school culture. You want to help participate. You want to be in the school play. You want to be on the softball team. You want to be on the basketball team. And now things are going to get harder even next year. I've got science that says students who are involved in extracurricular activities have better grades and better attendance. I think that's a little more important. So yes, yeah, sometimes students are missing eighth period right now, or maybe seventh period. Next year it's going to be worse. We're going to do everything we can as coaches. We can't control that stuff. We can't control when the bus picks us up if we get a bus anymore. But we are all in this together. Absolutely. So please be understanding. Make sure that you have some grace with your students because they are trying to be the best Spartans they can be. And if you are actually making it harder for students to be involved in extra extracurricular activities, we think you're kind of lame. Man. And you don't know Jack, son. What was your top song and top artist for the Spotify Wrapped? Uh, Vamp Anthem by Playboy Cardi. And your artist? Playboy Cardi. Oh, well, that's, yeah. How many minutes did you have for the Spotify rap? A couple here and there, nothing too serious. And who was your top artist? I think it was uh, Drizzy Dre. That's tight. How many minutes did you have on Spotify rap? Ooh, I think it was like 3,000, something like that. Who was your top artist? Uh, Rob Wave. That's sick. <laughs> Santa, what were your top five songs for Spotify Wrapped this year? Oh, my Spotify Wrapped. Santa Claus is Coming to Town was number one, of course. Um, Jingle Bells, uh, let's see. Christmas and Hollis was a great one as well this year. Got a lot of plays. Silent Night, and you gotta keep the white Christmas. Boo doo, boo doo, boo, 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 boo doo. There's no place like home.